Hey guys, so I have recently made a few new clothing item purchases and every time I do that, I try to go through my closet and kind of clean out a few little items kind of to make things feel like it's a give or take. Every time I buy several new items, I always want to try to go through and get rid of some old things that I know I'm not going to wear. So I thought I would bring you guys along with me. Um, it is dark, it's almost bedtime. I don't have any makeup on or anything. I'm totally wearing sweatpants and we're gonna go through the closet and maybe my dresser and just kind of get rid of some items. I am currently almost 23 weeks pregnant. And so <laughs> it's kind of a very awkward time to be clearing out your wardrobe. I totally wouldn't really recommend doing it in the middle of your pregnancy, but I know there are some items in there that I have been wanting to get rid of for a while. Things that are like maternity items that I know I'm not going to wear that I'm not really digging and also other items once I get into my regular body <laughs> in a postpartum body, there are some items that I don't want in around anyway. So let's hop in and just go through my stuff. So let's go. So these are, first of all, a couple of Liz Lang maternity like sweater dress kind of things. They are maternity items. I won't be able to wear them for postpartum because the neckline isn't low enough to nurse out of. That's the number one thing in my life right now. I'm really just planning for things that I can nurse out of. So I have both of these. They're both, um, kind of like a polyester material. They're just not the softest, they're kind of scratchy, and they're things that I wore a few weeks ago and I was like, yeah, I don't want that in my maternity stuff anymore, and it's not gonna work in my regular stuff, so I'm getting rid of those. This is actually a little dress that I got off ThreadUp recently, and it's just too small. The measurements on ThreadUp were totally way off, and it's just not gonna work. Even in my postpartum body, it's totally not gonna work. It's a large, but it's not gonna fit me, so that's going in the pile too. Now I like to keep my closet where this side is stuff that I use all the time, and this side is kind of stuff that I switch out every once in a while, so there shouldn't be anything on this side that I wanna get rid of, but I'm just double checking. Here I have a shirt that I got off of ThreadUp. It's just a Massimo brand, a size medium. It's three quarter length sleeve, which is something that I usually like, but I just didn't really dig the fit of this. It's a little bit too see-through-y. It's just kind of awkward. Um, once again, another ThreadUp find that I didn't, you know, when you buy off of ThreadUp, you don't get to see things in person. So sometimes you can definitely get some misses. <laughs> this is a pink blush maternity dress, which I actually really love and I think it's gorgeous but it is a size small and I just put it on the other day and like under the bust is like way too tight and I'm like not a fan. And once again, it's something that won't work for postpartum because I can't have access to the boobies very easily in this guy. So um, this is my third pregnancy. I know obviously that I gain a lot of weight in my pregnancies and this just isn't going to work as a maternity dress and I'm not gonna let it sit in the closet for an extra two years plus until I don't have a nursling. And by that time, we may want another baby. So I won't be wearing it again. So go into the pile. Here I have a little like cardigan with some lace up on the top. It's really cute. And I used to love wearing it all the time, like five, six years ago, but I just can't even remember the last time that I wore it. And so, I'm gonna put it in the pile. I mean, I used to love this thing, but it's just not something that I reach for anymore, so it doesn't need to be in there. This is another item that I think is super cute. It's a little polka dot button up long sleeve shirt, super cute, but it is a little bit tight on me, and I just don't wear such formal stuff, so getting rid of that. I really did like this, though. It's super pretty, but uh, yeah, just not gonna be wearing it. Here is a blue cardigan I want to try on and see why it's on that side of the closet. If it's totally fine. I don't know why I'm not wearing this, so I'm gonna add that from the not wearing side of the closet to the wearing side of the closet because it fits perfect. I do switch out my sides of the closet depending on the season, so this might have just been something that wasn't there during the summertime and I totally forgot to add it back in once winter time hit. Next I have a couple of shirts here that are 
a long sleeve and they do button open um, in the front and so they're okay for nursing but they're actually kind of at they're the same exact shirt they're just two different colors black and pink and um, in the front it's like not stretchy although it does have a button where you can kind of get your boob out to nurse it's at like a very awkward level so you have to kind of like lift your boob up out of it so it's just not very comfortable or convenient and they're like a high low style so they cover your butt in the back but they're kind of lowish on the front so they're just kind of shirts that I have worn in the past during the postpartum days when I needed something to nurse out of but they were never something that I really like loved or super reach for and then this is just another shirt that I've had forever this is a converse size large um, just like button-up shirt but I don't know if it's okay I don't know maybe I'll keep this one I thought it was gonna be smaller because I've owned this for many many years I thought it was not gonna fit but it actually it could even fit over my belly right now so it totally fits maybe I'll keep this one maybe I'll move it to the other side next I have this is actually a maternity maxi skirt but I find it to be more annoying than just wearing regular maxi skirts as a maternity maxi skirt and it's just not something I ever reach for. I think I bought this in my first pregnancy. I don't think I wore it at all in my second pregnancy and I haven't worn it so far in my third pregnancy so that's another item that just isn't getting any use. Now I do have this tote here that I keep um, some maternity and then like larger size clothes for like the very early postpartum days. So I want to go through here. I'm not sure if there's anything that I will want to get rid of, but I'm going to check and see. So these are some pink blush maternity pants that I actually super love the color of, but like I said, I know what my body is like during pregnancy and I'm just too chubby to wear these during pregnancy, so I'm going to get rid of those. Same thing goes for these beautiful like dark dark plum they're just too small as maternity pants another pair of pink blush really light um, capri pants that are just a little too tight during pregnancy oh I actually do have these two pairs which are I think I got them from Walmart in my first pregnancy but they have like a very stretchy waistband and they're just jeans but I just I don't like them for pregnancy and I'm not about to be wearing jeans immediately postpartum. I don't have um, a work outside the home job anymore. With my first two pregnancies I worked um, in an office and we wore jeans all the time so I have a lot of maternity jeans that I just don't wear now as a stay-at-home mom because as a stay-at-home mom I don't really need to like leave the house and wear jeans all the time so I just wear more comfortable bottoms and I have a lot of jeans that just I don't need. Another pair of maternity jeans that are the stretchy side panel kind, which I do not like. They super, super bug me. I like a full panel, so those are going in the pile too. I also have a pair of khakis. I just don't wear khakis. I don't, I don't need these. <laughs> I also have two pair of cheapo, just like eBay, super cheap um, leggings. Um, no, like uh, capri leggings, and they were always very awkward length on my belly. They came to like right at my belly button and didn't like, they weren't like a full, full panel, so they were always just kind of annoying. So I'm gonna put those in the pile as well. I have this purple shirt, which is a high neck, but it is like ruched on the side, so it's supposed to be a maternity shirt, but it's just, I don't know. Maybe I should keep it just in case. Maybe one day I'll have like a summer pregnancy and I might want something like this. So I'll keep that just in case. Okay, so that's it for the tote. Next, I'm going to take a look in the dresser see if there's anything that I want to get rid of. Usually I keep in these bottom drawers things that I'm kind of like iffy about. So those are where I'm going to look first. So my big dresser was actually all safe. Nothing in there that I wanted to get rid of. 
But now we're going to look in here in the tall dresser and see what's going on in here. That dresser looks pretty safe too, so. So I know this was a little bit of a random video. I thought it was kind of fun to go through these things with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I will soon have up a haul video of all of the new stuff that I've gotten recently. So I hope you stay tuned for that one and subscribe if you are not already a subscriber. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll talk to you next time.